Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a cattail from Plants vs. Zombies. Let's get started with the eyes. Now I'm going to have the head sort of tilted to the side. So we're going to start with the left eye first by drawing an angled oval starting from the top, work our way to the bottom, and then back to the top. On the top area we're just going to draw a little circle for a highlight and then we're going to color the bottom area in black. Let's move over towards the right and slightly up and draw in the right eye. So again, we're going to tilt this over, starting from the top. And at the top, we're just going to draw a smaller circle or a highlight. And we'll fill in the bottom area in black. Just underneath the eyes, I want to draw a little curve for the cheekbones. So on the left side, I'm just going to curve up underneath the eye and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. In between, we're just going to locate the nose. So we start with a little curve from left to right going across. Now we're going to take these two points and curve down towards a bottom point. Now we're going to tuck the mouth in underneath the nose. So starting from the bottom point, I want to curve down and out towards the left, and then just curl it up towards the eye. On the right side, we'll do the same. So curving down, and we're just going to curl this up a little bit further. Underneath the mouth, we're going to locate the chin, so directly below the left side here, we're going to curve down, and then just pull that up towards the right side. Let's go back up above the eyes and draw on the eyebrows. So above the left eye, I'm going to draw a curve. Now I'm going to connect those two points with a higher curve, going up to the top of the eyebrow, and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So curving above the eye, going back to the inside, we'll curve up, and then down towards the outside. Going back down towards the chin, we want to draw in the cheeks. So from the left side here, we're going to step down and curve around and up. We do the same thing on the right side, but we're going to pull this up and in towards the eye. Going around the cheeks, and then we'll just pull that up. From here, I just want to curve up again, so doing another curve just beside the eyebrow. From here, I'm going to connect those two points with a curve going in behind the eyebrows for the edge of the hat up, in behind the eyebrow, and now I'm aiming towards that point there. So we'll go in between, and I'm just going to overlap and just pass the edge of the head slightly. On the left side, I want to round out the edge of the hat, so curving out, and then back in. On the right side, we're going to curve in the opposite direction, going out, and then in. Now let's take those two points and connect it with another curve. Starting on the left, curve up over towards the right. Let's continue working up towards the top of the head. On the left side here, we're going to draw in an ear. So just down here, we're going to leave a little space, and then we're going to curve up. Let's curve in the opposite direction, curving down towards the brim of the hat. Now I just want to trace out the inside of the ear. So in between these two points, I'm going to leave a little space and draw a curve. Now on the left side, I'm going to curve up towards the top, and we'll curve in the opposite direction towards the bottom. Now let's go ahead and draw on the top of the hat. So from this point, we're going to step in, just draw an angled line going up. From here, I'm going to curve around the ear, and I'm going to pull it aiming towards this point here. So going up, we're going to start up here, so we're continuing this curve, going around, aiming towards that point, we're going to stop right about there. We're going to step back and draw a straight line going up. Now we're going to take this point and curve down towards this point. Now that we got the head, let's work in the leaves around the head. So we're going to start with one coming out in this direction. Starting on the side of the cheek on the left, we'll curve out and then down. We'll curve in the opposite direction, just underneath the chin. Now we're going to layer one in behind going in the opposite direction. So starting down here, curve down and out towards the right. And then again, curving in the opposite direction, we'll go underneath the chin. Let's go back to the left and tuck one in behind here. So behind the hat, curve out and down towards the left, and then in the opposite direction, in behind the front leaf. We're going to take that and flip it over on the back side here. So behind the cheek, curve out and down, and curve in behind the front leaf. Let's add a seam in the middle of the leaves. So up here, underneath the cheek, we're just going to curve and split it in the middle. Up in this leaf, we'll do the same thing. So curving across, underneath the chin, and then on the right side. 
Now we're gonna move over towards the left side and draw in the tail curving up above the head. So we're gonna start with two curves going around and up. Starting beside the hat, curve around, and we're just gonna pull this up. We're gonna duplicate that. We're gonna step out and just follow that curve all the way back in behind the head. At the base, we just wanna overlap these two points with a curve. Going around like that. Now the tail's gonna be aimed up this way. So starting at the top, we're gonna to draw a slight curve going up towards the tip of the tail. Going across. Now from the bottom, we wanna do the opposite. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction. It's gonna go in behind the ear. We're just gonna pull that up to the same length. Now in between these two points, we're gonna leave a gap, step down, and draw a little socket with a spike. From these two points, we're gonna draw a straight line going up to a center point. Now let's take these ends and just curve them in behind the spike. At the end here, we're gonna draw a couple of wrinkle lines, so a little curve on one end, then along the bottom, and then on the inside, we'll just draw a couple more. Let's add some spots along this area. Starting on the left, we're just gonna draw some very size circles, some large, some smaller circles all the way across. Do a couple more along the bottom here. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Cattail from Plants vs. Zombies. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.